Okay, in this video I'm going to show you an individual train running script. This is Oil Train Part 1. I'm still working on this, but I think it's a good example to use. This is the file name. I'm doing my two import statements. Here's the class name. I did get the class name and the file name the same, although you don't have to. Right here, I'm executing this file master functions. It's a variable name that I set to the actual file name called master functions. And this, this contains definitions for certain functions or subroutines that I call them that uh, reduce the number of statements you have to put in a script. And they're, I use them in many of the uh, program scripts that I run. I'm just picking the, uh, the locomotive to run. I'm loading this uh, sound, this crossing wave file into a variable so I can play that at the end of the program. I'm putting the global statement in here so it sees the, uh, the variable flag over in the main control program. Ignore that statement. That's just in there for testing. Now I'm printing the fact that I'm going to go and I'm uh, and printing it again for some reason. I guess I don't need that. Now I'm setting up the switches that need to be changed for this uh, train to, to run properly. This is the statement turnouts.provide turnout 13 set uh, state thrown. Then I wait a second before I do another turnout. I don't know if that's absolutely required, but I think it's safe to do that. So I'm setting these four turnouts. And then I'm uh, turning on the bell. Then I'm running the longhorn right there. That's a kind of a shared function or subroutine that is inside this master functions file. Then I'm issuing an accelerate uh, subroutine or function. And I want it to go an increase of two tenths, wait uh, half a millisecond or 500 milliseconds, and do that six times. So it gradually builds up speed. It doesn't have a big jerk when it starts. Then I'm waiting 12 seconds. Then I turn off the bell as it clears the switch on the old layout. And then I'm accelerating again four more times. And this builds on the existing speed. And then I wait 44 seconds while the train is running to get to the position I want it to. And this is where I'm having real trouble with this timing. When it runs a long time, I'm getting inconsistent distances. So anyway, it gets over to track B on the new layout and it decelerates 8 and then I set it to stop right there and I tell it, you know, I'm printing out these statements so I can follow what it's doing and then I turn it to backwards I turn on my longhorn again, I change a turnout I just sit here and wait five seconds for things to settle for no reason. Just thought it'd be good to have it set there. Then I'm accelerating. Then I'm waiting seven seconds. That's how long I'm guessing it takes to back up into the little oil area. Then I'm decelerating. And notice I do the same acceleration and deceleration. Then I set the speed to zero just to be sure it's stopped. Turn on the horn and says, hey, I'm here. And then I'm waiting 10 seconds so I can uncouple those last two black tank cars. Then I'm setting the throttle to true. I'm accelerating. I'm going 10 seconds down the track. I'm decelerating, setting it to zero. I'm saying, hey, I'm here again. And then I'm setting the uh, flag to done, printing I'm done, playing the thing, and I return. Now, in yeah, sorry about that. You couldn't see those lower ones, but uh, those are the ones I uh, were talking about and missed. Then at the bottom, I comment out the start command. So if I want to run this independently on its own, I could just 
put the uh, take that comment thing out of there and it'll run on its own so I don't have to go through the master program to run this thing so that's how the uh, generally how my scripts are set up and uh, so I hope you could see that if okay this is the uh, last detail script uh, video part I'll do this is the master functions file you don't need these two imports that normally set up here because this just is executed inside one of my train running scripts not in the master uh, control script but inside each um, individual uh, train running script and it contains functions or subroutines that reduce the number of lines it requires in the individual train running scripts so you saw that uh, I used a longhorn in the oil train so this is the longhorn these are the definitions of the variables that are passed and uh, sometimes I change the names of the variables that's not really important I just check light I'm trying to get my uh, uh, crossing uh, lights to, to, to run I couldn't get that working so I just turn on cab chatter that's a little confusing but don't worry about it now I'm telling setting this loop count on how many times I want this horn to run so inside this loop as long as it's greater than uh, zero it'll turn on the long horn it'll wait how many milliseconds are passed up here for the duration then it'll turn it off and then it'll pause based on how long I told it to pause it'll increment the loop count it'll print this I've got that commented out but for testing purposes I had that active and so it'll just sit in this loop here until it reaches the maximum number of times I want it to do that this is a crossing signal function that's not too interesting there's a bell function ring the bell for so long that's no okay I use that once in a while this is a good one here this accelerate so what I'm doing here is I'm telling it how much of an increment to add to the acceleration how long to wait before the next increment and how many times to do that increment so I set this old speed so I know I have to get how fast the train is running now so use this command called get speed setting so now I know how fast it's running now so I can increment from there so but if it sets stopped it it gives you a value less than less than zero so I set it to zero I'm just changing the uh, setting the loop to the number of times it's supposed to in increment I'm setting this old speed to speed SPD then I'm going through a loop here where I'm I'm setting the speed setting to this SPD value which goes up by the increment every time it goes through this loop and then I decrement the count so when it gets to zero then it'll drop out and this is just my little print program or print statement to watch it I don't need that anymore the other one that's useful is this kind of a similar command called decelerate it basically does the same thing as it accelerate only in reverse it subtracts the time that uh, you've told it so that's a kind of a quick summary of how the master function script works